Hey y'all. So today I wanted to do a quick demonstration on how to get a USB virtual serial port running on a SAMD51 microcontroller. The SAMD51 is not quite as well documented as the SAMD21 and so there's just not as many resources out there to learn from and go off of. Uh, but also um, microchip and Atmel, they don't support the SAMD51 with Atmel Software Framework 3. Uh, you can only use ASF4 for the SAMD51, which is essentially Atmel Start. Um, so that's also another hurdle um, that I've found uh, many people have difficulties with. So I wanted to do a quick demonstration on how to do this with the SAMD51. Uh, my setup, I currently have a SAMD51J19A is the chip that I have, and it's actually sitting on an Adafruit Metro M4 Express board. And then uh, the way that I'm programming the chip, I have an Atmel ICE uh, programmer. So first, uh, we're going to open up Atmel Start, and we're going to click Create New Project. And then go ahead and search for uh, the SAMD51 chip that you are using. So I have the SAMD51 J19A. And so that's what we're gonna choose here. I honestly don't know which package uh, my chip is and I don't really think it matters. So just choose one. And go ahead and click create new project. And it's going to add all the necessary items in there and so the first thing that we're going to do now is configure our clocks so go ahead and click on the clocks tab on the left side of the screen we're going to disable the external crystal oscillator and then for generic clock generator one go ahead and enable that and then let's configure it and for the clock source we're going to choose the ultra low power internal oscillator And then go ahead and enable on the left column the digital frequency locked loop. And then let's configure it and configure it to use a reference clock source, uh, clock generator one. Now go ahead and let's configure clock generator zero. And as its source, we're going to use the digital frequency locked loop. And now we have the CPU running at 48 megahertz. Let's go ahead and add our USB stack. Uh, so click on middleware and then scroll down until you see USB stack. Expand that and look for USB device CDC ACM and go ahead and add that component. As you see, the USB device instance is also clocked at 48 megahertz. Okay, let's move over to the dashboard. Um, here we just need to verify that the USB device instance uh, data plus and data minus or PA25, PA24. And that's really it. That's all we have to verify. Um, in my previous tutorial, we had to make sure for the SAMD21 that you set the NVM weight states to be one. Uh, you don't need to do that with the SAMD51. Um, so from this point, let's just go ahead and just rename this. We'll call it SAMD51 and ASF4 USB serial. And let's export the project and then download it. And we should see the downloaded file coming in here soon. There we go. Go ahead and click on that file after it's been downloaded. And it'll open uh, up the project in uh, Microchip Studio or Atmel Studio.
Okay, so you can go ahead and rename it here to whatever you want it to be. I'm gonna keep that name, press okay. And it creates our project for us. All right. Now, before we look at the code, there is one thing that we need to look at. Uh, let's go ahead and go to device programming. I specifically need to do this for uh, my board, which is an Adafruit Metro M4 board. Um, might be different for you depending on what you're using as, as your board, whether you have a custom board or not. Um, but for the Adafruit Metro M4, I just wanna make sure that the original Adafruit bootloader is not on the chip anymore. And so I'm gonna go ahead and select my Atmel ICE here. We're gonna apply. And then let's read the device signature. Okay, it reads, it reads my chip just fine. Let's go down to fuses. And for fuses, if you're using the same board as me, you just want to make sure that the bootloader is not protected because we want to be able to erase the entire chip. Um, so go down to the fuses here and we're going to look for NVM control boot protection. Now here mine, I've already disabled this. And so it says zero kilobytes. Yours might say something different. Uh, initially, when I first did this, it said 16 kilobytes. Go ahead and set it to zero, and then you can program those fuses, and that basically just makes it so the bootloader is not protected anymore. Then, go ahead and click Memories, and erase the entire chip. And now we're ready to go, so we can close this. All right, if we go down and look at our source, uh, similar to with the SAMD21 tutorial that I did, we have this USB start source file. And uh, just like in that tutorial, if you scroll all the way down, there is an example program that has been written uh, already for you. So all we need to do is go to our main function, and we're going to call that example program. Now in the example program, we'll go back and look at the source code really quickly here. Uh, you'll notice that there are some basic reading and writing functions that are available to us. So there's CDCF ACM read, and there's CDCF ACM write. So those are some basic reading and writing functions that'll uh, input and output data to and from the serial line. So let's go ahead and run this program. So we're building it. it, could take a minute or so for it to build. Okay, the build is finished. Ah, uh, sorry, I forgot this. Um, we need to select the programming tool or we can actually continue here. I don't know why it's not just able to select it itself because it's a, not a very well-written IDE. All right, so go ahead and select the Atmel ICE because that's what we're using as our programmer. And let's do this one more time. Okay. All right, so the chip has been programmed. So now let's go ahead and open the data visualizer in the tools menu. And here we should see a COM port. That is one that we created in our example program. And let's go ahead and connect to that COM port. And whatever we write should be echoed back at us. Just like that. All right, so yeah, that's a, a very basic um,
tutorial on just how to get simple serial communication with a USB virtual serial port running on a SAMD51 microcontroller.